The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources confirming that a moose attacked and killed a dog in Provo today. And here's video of the bull moose that attacked. Neighbors captured video of it in a neighborhood either before or after the incident. And Amanda Gilbert is live with a warning for others. Amanda. Yeah, the moose ended up in this family's yard and sadly there just wasn't much they could do. The cold and snow isn't always fun for us, but it can also be hard for our wildlife. Conservation Outreach Manager Scott Root says this week especially, more and more wild animals are venturing out to neighborhoods, parks, and more. We've got, you know, some pretty deep snow, and if you have some really cold temperatures as well, they tend to come down. Just today, this moose was spotted in Centerville, and someone saw a mountain lion in Ogden earlier. Looking through my camera, I usually look at the late night or the early morning stuff. But then I noticed, I said, oh, check that out. Sadly, in this Provo neighborhood, Scott says a bull moose wandered onto this family's yard. The dog was on its property there, and the moose came on to the, to the private property. And it's an unfortunate event that uh, that confrontation led to the death of the dog. What on earth? He says the family lost their German Shepherd. Said, yeah, it was my dog, Luke. He was a German Shepherd. They, they couldn't see the confrontation from what I understand, but they saw the dog after and he was injured and he passed. Just an unfortunate encounter. We don't blame anybody for this. Typical day for Shetty Lexa, just seeing a moose. Just to make sure no one gets hurt, he says, please be careful. If you ever do come around the corner and see a moose, you know, get something between you and that moose, a tree, bushes, whatever you can, and, and try to just slowly back away. And I did talk to the family. They didn't want to go on camera. You know, our pets are our family. They were so sad. Uh, it's so fresh. And um, if they do see the moose again, there's a chance it will be relocated if it keeps coming back into the neighborhood. If you would like more information on how to stay safe, if you see wildlife, head to our news app for our website. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV, 2 News.